friends and welcome back to my channel and today in this video I am going to continue from the last Abacus tutorial. So without any further ado let's begin our video. So in the last Abacus video I taught you guys about addition and how to add in Abacus. So today we are just going to revise that first and start off with the new concepts. So let's get started with this new video. Coming on to addition, we have to place our hands correctly in the right position and we have to hold the pencil with the right hand and uh, let's take one question like uh, let's take 1 plus 2. So the first thing to do for adding 1 plus 2 is we have to add 1 first things first and next step is you have to take 2 beads from the lower position and add 2 like this. So the answer is 3. So last in the last Abacus tutorial we learned about a few things including this addition. So today we are going to be learning about how to add from 5 to 10 and after that I am going to teach about a little bit of subtraction and I am going to teach about something known as brain gym. So let's get started. So now I am going to teach you guys how to add from 5 to 10. So let me zoom this first. Uh, in the last video also I have taught, taught you guys about zooming. So uh, now let's see how to add from 5 to 10. So let's take one question like uh, 5 plus 3. So 5 plus 3. First thing we have to do is add 5 over here. And after adding 5, you have to add 5 with your index finger. And the next step to, for adding is you have to add 3. So 5 plus 3 was the question and the answer is 8. So this is very easy. So next, let's zoom this and take one more question. Let's take 3. First one is 3. 3 plus Six, 3 plus 6 so or here 3 beads are there so 5 plus 1 so 5 plus 1 is 6 so you have to bring them like this closely so both together you have to bring them like this and the answer is 9 so 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 9 and so this is how we do addition and so the first thing in subtraction is uh, you have to take a larger number and subtract it from a small number. So let's take one question like let's take 4 minus 2. So the first thing to do in this question is add 4 in your back list and you have to less 2. How do we do it is you have to take your index finger like this and push this beat down like this two beats down so this is the answer is two so the next let's see one more question so the other question is let's take like uh, three minus one so take three beat and less one beat so we do it like this let's take one beat down so the answer is two so this is subtraction from the basic level uh, as we um, as in for future videos a subtraction and addition will be a uh, little more harder and it will be like level up so let's so this is about subtraction so let's see one more question last question so the one more question or the last question is uh, 2 minus 2 so you have to add to first and you have to less two so take these two bits down and push it so like that this is known as subtraction in uh, abacus so now i'm going to teach you guys how to uh, do brain gym so, now coming on to brain gym friends uh, brain gym is nothing but uh, people go to gym right for fitness workout muscles to become slim to be fit right but this brain gym is something little bit different so 
This brain gym has some few exercises which are very good for the brain and our human body. So let's see what are the exercises. So coming on to the first exercise is no, it is known as positive point. So for this positive point you need the two hands, you need the index finger and the middle finger. Just keep it like this of your both hands, okay? So the next step is you have to place them on your forehead. You can do this while sitting or while standing. So you have to keep like this and just rotate it in like this circular form. Like this, how people do like this, right? But not like that. Do like this, like this. Uh, like this. See the contraction and relaxation. See while doing like this, uh, the skin or the muscle contracts, and while like releasing it, like coming down, right? Then it will be free, relaxed. So, like that, you have to do like this. So, this will actually relax you. Even if you have any like a small headache, all right, you just do like this. It will just go, and uh, it will just in, while uh, in abacus competitions, right? Actually, I went to several abacus competitions. In those abacus competitions, before we start uh, writing the like the paper or the question, right? We have we used to do this brain gym. This brain gym, right? Uh, it will just increase our uh, thinking ability it will just make us to concentrate well like that it will do so yeah from the next abacus tutorial onwards i will just uh, first do this brain gym and then continue with the concept and new concepts uh, and of that video so let's continue this positive point just do like this it's very easy it will just relax you if this way, if this is very actually, it is very good also. In studies also, you can use this triptic tip. So, like this you have to do. Uh, you just do this for not even one minute. You can do this for one minute actually, see. You can do this for one minute. It will just relax you and make in abacus competitions from next time onwards. I will just do this. You, you can follow with me. So the second exercise for this brain is uh, it is known as thinking cap. For this thinking cap, you have to think well, right? Just kidding. So for this thinking cap, you need to take these two fingers. The thumb finger and the mid index finger take it like this hold your ears like this at the upper part like this like this see ah. after that you have to sit normally and push them up stretch it first step of the thinking cap just to stretch it like this right the first step is just take this up stretch it like this then after that do like this in the middle part see middle part oh, in the middle part stretch it like this sideways like this this might seem a little painful but it's very good for our body it will improve the blood circulation in our body so the third one is you have to hold it down here with these two fingers itself okay not with any other finger because you can stretch it very hard so this take it stretch it like this so let's do that all together first this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
So this is the second uh, brain gym exercise. So the third brain gym exercise I need to stand up. So friends, the third brain gym exercise is a, you need to keep a right ha left hand over here near the chest and the right hand over here near the stomach. So next step is you have to just rotate it like this. Like this you have to do. So that's it. This is the third brain gym exercise. This is very easy actually. Very, very, very easy. So, now coming on to the fourth brain gym exercise. I'll just sit down and show you. The fourth brain gym exercise is so, for this exercise, you need your thumb finger. And uh, normally, eight is like this, right? Eight is like this. But sleeping eight is like this right ah, like this so with this uh, thumb finger we have to do that sleeping gate like this we have to write like writing sleeping gate okay but while just doing this eight process right you need to concentrate at your tip tip of the thumb tip of the thumb tip of the thumb you have to just to concentrate over here. You cannot concentrate anywhere else. Just concentrate, focus everything at the tip of the thumb. Okay. And you have to, while doing this eight process also, you need to see the tip of your thumb itself. No seeing anywhere else. I do not know how I am looking in the video because I am, I am concentrating at the tip of the thumb. So, I do not know. By the way, like this you have to do sleeping gate. Do not do some gaji 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 gaji, you know. Sleeping gate, sleeping gate. So this sleeping gate is very easy also. Just concentrate and focus. I do not know. So this is the fourth brain gym exercise. So that's it for this video friends. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to, to this channel. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and like for this channel. So thank you and bye bye.